I've always tried to consider the alternative to any any action, any like bigger cause, you know, political cause or however. And you know, my father's quite the, the history nerd, so he's you know been telling me about history and how you know this battle then led to this other thing and so on and so forth and it I, th I think that that's something that people who I guess the word is really just prejudice prejudiced people either don't care to or don't you know, or just don't do, and I think it is something that you should do, consider the alternative. I should make clear, I really don't, I particularly hate anyone. I, I, I understand why some might, and some do, but I don't, I, I basically, you know, if you're not hurting anyone, if whatever you're doing sexually isn't, you know, is all consensual, and like, yeah, if, if you're not going out of your way to, you know, bother other people in just, then, yeah, you know, I don't hate you. Except you, Frank. You know who you are. But, yeah, so what I'm going to be talking about, I don't hate any of the groups I'm going to mention, but... For example, the, the people who hate the LGBTQ, you know, anyone of who belongs in that group, you know, just con consider the alternative. If if you know you you don't want to see them, you know, yeah, you it, it bothers you to see two people of the same gender kissing in public or, you know, seeing someone, you know, or someone being in the bathroom of the gender they identify as rather than the their biological gender, or at least current biological gender, you know. I, I understand where that's coming from, not, not wanting that, but the alternative to you seeing that is that they they hate themselves you know n not all but but some will hate themselves some will hurt themselves some will kill themselves and just i mean if if maybe some some of the people who really deeply hate lgbtq individuals maybe you do think that that's preferable in which case i mean i can in that case, just just say so. Just make it clear that you're not that it's that that's what you're you know that that you think that that should happen rather than pretending it doesn't. And you know if like when when wages are low you know in if you don't do if if you don't when you can if you don't raise them yeah the alternative is that these people are not going to have enough money maybe maybe they will just end up on the street maybe either before or after they end up on the street they'll resort to crime because they you know they have to eat they have to have some way to you know just Regardless of what I mean, I mean again, I I don't really blame anyone for thinking I could make more money if I, you know, I mean, you can you can go too far in the other direction. You know, you don't want to just be, you know. Of course, you have to actually make a profit. But if if you're making a, a profit and then not raising wages, then you're just being a jerk. But yeah, just in general, I I really think that that's the 
you, you have to consider the alternative because really if you're not then it's just this kind of moral argument where you're saying well you know they should have to work really hard if they want to make that much money they shouldn't you know LGBTQ LGBTQ individuals are you know I yeah you know some people think that that's wrong and that that argument just doesn't work in the face of facts and when you consider when when you look at what happens when people don't make more money than that and when you know I am especially referring to the minimum wage of course and when when people are not allowed to be the way that they naturally are and I've I've heard even some well-meaning people say of LGBTQ and the, the, the whole bathroom issue, trans individuals and, and bathrooms, you know, I've heard some say, you know, just start somewhere else because the idea of like, you know, trans people using bathrooms of, you know, the that that isn't of their biological gender that's you know some people find that really you know it it's they 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 don't like that they think it's you know but you could say the same thing about you know bathrooms before desegregation there's there's always going to be that 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 is what they said you know the that african americans shouldn't they you know it's it's not right for you know white people to have to use the same as African Americans and and such you know it's it's always gonna be that and and then there are people saying you know ah oh, it's the whole pride thing it's you know the pride parades and such it is just you know the when, whenever they do that they just make more enemies because people find you know think that that's way to you know oh they're so in your face about it if if they were just being being more subtle the the point of pride is that before pride parades if you were not just straight and cis then basically whenever someone realized that you were not straight or cis, there was a real fear, a real risk that they would assault you, sometimes even kill you. And really, a pride parade is saying, we're not afraid of you anymore. We're not afraid that you're going to come and beat us up. We're going to be the way we want to be, and we're going to be it in front of everybody because we're not afraid anymore it's it's life affirming it's not them saying that i really hate that argument you know the moment that someone lives life the way they want to live life that doesn't mean that you have to live it the same way it just means that you don't get to tell them not to live their life like that again as long as it's all consensual as long as they're not hurting anyone and if you think that a parade hurts someone you are seriously overestimating the the the, the danger of of any parade seriously just just make sure that nobody gets like run over by one of those things and you're good they they can send a message but they can't actually hurt people And remember, think, question, research. Don't take anybody else's word for it, and that includes mine. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.